Hi, Ryan here from AMB, and today we're going to take a look at the 2024 Cube Stereo 144 C62 race. Cube have pitched the 144 as an all day trail bike that can both handle rowdier situations and also pedal quite efficiently. What we see here is a 140 mil travel bike. It has 140 mils travel both front and rear and it has been specced with Fox factory suspension at both ends as well. So this full carbon, full Fox factory suspension bike comes in at a pretty impressive $6,999 unless you are a 99 Bikes Club member, in which case it's only $5,249. The Cube Stereo 144 that we have here today is a full carbon fiber frame, including Cube's twin mold technology mainframe and also both carbon uh, swing arms. It has frame storage, it has a UDH derailleur, it has integrated cable routing at the front, and it is a very, very lightweight and neat package. Despite only having 140 mils of travel, it has been equipped with an ISCG 05 uh, chain device mount as well. For those who might be riding a little bit rowdier, they can fit one themselves later. The large that we've been sent has a 150 mil uh, dropper post and is 29 inch wheels front and rear. It has been specced with aluminium wheels, bars and stem all by Newman and overall the package weighs in at a scant 12.7 kilograms. We can see that it is specced with SRAM's GX Eagle. It also has GX Eagle carbon cranks, which drops the weight down considerably. It's also been paired with SRAM's G2 RS brakes with a 200 mil rotor up front and a 180 out the back. It has Max's Forecaster tires in the XO casing they set up really nicely as tubeless with the valves that we were provided from 99 bikes. One thing that we were slightly frustrated to see was the internal routing through the headset. It is very, very neat on this model and we have had absolutely no cable noise. However, it does make the steering a little bit stiff. With all of these cables running through the headset, there is a little bit of interference. And while it is not that noticeable on the trail, low speed tight switchbacks, you can feel a little bit of resistance in the steering. Looking at the Stereo 144's geometry, I'd say it's fairly conservative. Our size large is 475 reach, which is it's right in the middle of the size large spectrum. The wheelbase in the slacker head tube angle is 1230 mils. The head tube angle can actually be changed by 0.6 of a degree from 65.4 degrees, which is the position we have it now, and also back to 66 degrees if you want a little bit more precise and sharper steering. The seat tube angle is a claimed 75.9 degrees. However, when we measured it, that is the virtual angle and taking a closer look at it was actually 70.5 actual. So how's the 144C62 on the trail? I'm pleasantly surprised at how capable this slightly shorter travel uh, trail bike is. The kinematics are pretty neutral. It doesn't bob and it doesn't lift when you pedal. Even when I've been running it on flat pedals, it gets up and pedals just fine on a variety of surfaces. The linkage itself also stays quite active on rough climbs and I've found that having that little bit of extra travel and a bike that pedals pretty well means that I can get up rock and janky sort of climbs a lot easier than I've found on like my hardtail or a cross country bike. Being quite light as well, this is a couple kilos lighter than some of the other bikes that we've tested in the same travel range. Uh, it feels light to ride. It's very, very responsive and it accelerates really, really nicely. Part of that is thanks to the light Newman Evolution SL wheel set shod in the Maxxis XO casing tires. The Maxxis Forecaster tires that are specced on the bike have worked really nice in the damp soil that we've had over the last few months. 
and as it started to dry out they have been a little bit skatier and we've dropped the pressure considerably keep traction in those conditions the 65.4 degree head angle is bang on for a trail bike with this amount of travel the front wheel neither flops from side to side when climbing on tight switchbacks and the seat tube angle is steep enough for us to get over the bike and keep our weight central and keep weight on the front wheel who's it going to be good for we think that this bike is going to be good for someone who just wants to go mountain biking they might not know where they're going to be riding they might not know if they like riding up or down or enduro or doing jumping or doing xc they just want to go mountain biking this is a really good package it can climb efficiently it can descend and jump really well with a couple of tweaks to make it either lighter and more xc or to make it a little bit more aggressive the frame and the parts on it can accommodate both options and i think cube have created a really really nice package thank you very much for watching make sure you like and subscribe and check out our other videos online as well